he just stood up in front of his bed and he started to dance. It's not possible for me to see anybody else uh, who might play a fun. He just looked at me and he said, uh, you know, Anup sir, you know, you will have to find someone else. Anup sir, welcome to the Quint. Thank you very much. I'm uh, very, very happy to be here. So let me start from here. What made you write this book? I didn't want to, you know, after Irfan passed away, as it happens, with, you know, with anyone who's very close to you, uh, you're struck. Really, there's a storm, I think, of memories <clears throat> that uh, strike out at you. And uh, when that happened, my first thought was, uh, I don't want to remember. You know, it's just too painful. I, I just, I wanted to put it aside. However, no matter how much you try and put uh, something away, whatever you try and repress, it actually appears even more strongly, you know, and it finds other ways of coming to you. Um, and, you know, I would go for a walk and uh, I would see a tree uh, moving in the wind. And I would think, ah, well, Irfan had uh, something of that rhythm when he was walking in this and this particular scene in this particular film, you know. And then after a while, I would see a road and I would say, ah, you know, this film that we were planning to do together. Uh, which is a film about dancing, if we could get that kind of gentle movement that the road has, uh, wouldn't that be wonderful? And I realized that there was no escape, that uh, everywhere, all around me, you know, there were memories in thought, in, uh, in something that I might see. Uh, he, he kept on appearing, you know. And I thought perhaps there's a reason for that. We had numerous uh, projects uh, planned together, as we used to say to each other, you know, till the age of 90, Anoop has some project for Irfan Khan. So we had things planned. <clears throat> and I thought there is something that is incomplete. And I'm not going to anymore deny myself uh, all these things that he's sending to me, you know, whatever. If there's a spirit, if there is, if it's just memory, if it is grief, if it is, if it's, you know, a sense of loss, whatever it is. So I started writing uh, the script that was supposed to be our next film together, you know, and that helped me a lot because I felt that we were still working together. And while writing the script, of course, there would be this rush of uh, memories. And I would make notes. I would just write down whatever came to me. If it was one word, I would write down the word. If it was a dialogue that I remembered that he had said to me, I would write it down. If it was a memory of a certain experience that we went together, I would uh, write that down. I must say that at that point, I had no idea that this would become a book, you know. It was just a very personal thing, it was for me. Then on my social media pages, I would, uh, you know, sometimes share a little article or a little memory. And a friend of mine who's really one of the finest uh, Punjabi poets of our time, Amajit Chandan, he read a few of these and he said to me, you know, Anup, uh, there is a quality of life that uh, you give us of Irfan that uh, makes us feel very much a part of, uh, uh, of him being with us here, uh, with us even today. He said, write more, remember more, you know, share with us. It is at that point that I put all these thoughts and 
scattered bits of paper together and try then to make it a little more structured uh, from chapter to chapter. And finally, it became the book. So that was the journey. At what point did you tell Shutapa uh, about it? Or, you know, what was her reaction when you told her that, you know what, I'm writing a book? Or was it a permission taken? What was that like? You know, because it was such a personal thing and I never thought it would be a book. I didn't speak to her about it because I also thought, you know, if I show her some of the things that uh, I remembered, it would be painful. It's too early as yet, you know. And so in a way, uh, I wanted to protect her and, you know, and I thought, of course, we were during the, pan this was the pandemic period. That means I couldn't travel to India. And I thought perhaps when we would meet face to face, I would read her some of the things, you know, and we would share certain moments together. So I never spoke to her about it. You know. When I felt that the book was complete and uh, I felt all right, I was ready now to bring it into the world. But before I do that, I wanted Shutpa to read it. You know, because if she had anything that she felt was not right or she wanted me to rethink, then I would do it. You know, I would think I would I would do it for her. Yeah. She read the book. She got back to me almost immediately. And she. She said that uh, she laughed, she cried at the end of it, it brought a great, great smile to her face. You know, and it also brought her some sense of calm. All right. So once I heard from her and she didn't have a word to say, you know, about cut this or cut that, nothing, not at all. Then I could send it to my publisher. Uh, let's go back to a few of her, his memories, some good memories of him. Do you remember yes. the first time you met him? Actually, the first time I met him was ages ago. You know, uh, I met him when uh, I was doing a, 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 a kind of TV series. Um, and uh, it was, he was a friend of uh, the actor Mita Vasisht because they had been together at the National School of Drama. And she was the one who introduced me to him. On, I think one, not the first, maybe the first or second day uh, when we were on that particular shoot of the TV series, um, I was setting up a shot. I was in front of the camera and we were just saying that the actor could go from here, then should go here, then stop here. And while I was doing that, I didn't realize but I was humming something, you know. For me, that was important because I was trying to get a certain rhythm to the movement, you know. And I also didn't realize that Irfan was standing next to the camera listening. And after a while, because when you're humming, you're not really, you know, aware that you're doing such a thing. And after a while, he joined me in the humming, you know, and he started singing. And of course, it was uh, Nusrat Ali Fateh Khan uh, um, Kawali that I was humming to myself. And he knew it, of course, and he started singing. And then he came in front of the camera and still singing, he went through all the movements. And he said, yeah, cha, mujhe pata hai ab mein kaise chalunga. So that was our first meeting, really when we felt that uh, we were not only professional actor, director, caught up in a certain relationship to do a story, you know, but we felt that there was something between him and me that could allow us to develop into something else, you know, speak to each other in a slightly different way. That was the beginning. Do you remember the uh, last time you met him, what was your last conversation like? Uh, well, the last time was, you know, it has its uh, 
shadow moments and it had has its great moments of light the last time i met him was uh, in in the hospital in in uh, bombay and uh, he was very weak very very weak he was in great pain and he could hardly move <clears throat> but i said to him you know this film about uh, the dance that we are going to do next <clears throat> and he would always laugh when i said dance because he hated dance you know he just he couldn't stand the idea of having to dance okay but so i would always sort of you know tease him a little and say this film about dance that we are going to do and um, in in our last film together which was the song of scorpions we also had vaida rahman in the film and before irfan became ill or realized that he was ill um i had spoken with uh, vaida ji and we and i said to her you know that i'm planning such and such a film and, and uh, would you be a mentor uh for us yeah and she said yes absolutely all right and irfan was very excited about that right. so in the hospital he said chalo uh, tumhare uh, laptop par let's let's watch uh, some sequences from vaida ji's uh, films you know so we watched a sequence from uh, Piyasa Gurudev's, you know, and we watched a sequence from the film Guide, uh, and he he would look at uh, these sequences, and I could see something happening to him, you know. He was flat out on the bed, but when he would look at these sequences, he slowly started getting up. You know, and at the end of uh, one particular sequence, when we were watching Piyasa. he actually stood up in front of the bed he kept the laptop on the bed and he stood up in front of the bed and he said anup kuch aisa karenge hum you know and that we discuss the slow movement the lifting of the eye you know small small things and you have to keep in mind abira that he could hardly stand you know but he was so enthused uh by the idea of dancing you know and watching vaidaji that he just stood up in front of his bed and he started to dance yeah. that is my last, the last memory of the last dance the last dance that was the last dance yes and then suddenly he stopped and he just looked at me and he said uh, you know anup sir aapko pata hai you will have to find someone else and i think we sat in silence for a long time after that and then i said you know i have to go to the bathroom so i went to the bathroom and i cried a little <laughs> and i came back <clears throat> he said the, there are few actors that i like very much and then you know the great uh, generous man that he is he started speaking about these uh, young actors that uh, he felt uh, uh, could do the film yeah. and uh, i've kept that in mind of course you know uh, but i do not think that at the moment i am able to uh uh Uh, do the film with anybody else there might come a come a time but uh, uh, not now and sir have you ever thought of one day i'll do a film on him uh, people have asked me and uh, quite honestly no the thought has not been there with me uh, because i just can't at this moment i just can't you know it's it's not possible for me to see anybody else uh who might play it fun I, i just can't imagine it all right maybe there will come a time and i'll think about it or it will come to me 
or maybe Irfan's uh, spirit will say something in my ear, you know. But uh, much as I would want to, okay, I would want to very much. But I don't think at this moment uh, it is with me. No, it isn't. Anything about Irfan that you would want to share that people, like I said, fans don't know about? Perhaps everybody knows that he loved to fly kites wherever he went, wherever. He always carried the kite, kites with him. All right. When he came to the shoot of uh, uh, the Song of Scorpions, I think he had 20 kites with him in the car. Mm -hmm. During the time when we were shooting Kissa, he had, I don't know, more than 40 kites in the car because he would also share them with everyone on the unit. Okay. And there were times when we were shooting and there were breaks in the shoot, you would see 50 kites in the sky and everyone was, you know, from the unit, the cameraman, the assistant, focus puller, uh, the light man, the caterer, the costume designer, Irfan, the actress, you know, flying kite somewhere. Okay. So he loved to fly kites. And uh, I once asked him, you know, what is this with you and flying kites? And he said, you know, it's these tiny movements. You pull and you release, you pull and you release. And this tiny movement keeps this kite in the sky or brings it falling down, you know. And also, no matter how much you control it, Anything can happen, a sudden wind can come, you know, and the kite will crash. He said, it is a matter of life and death. This tiny little thing, you know, this relationship that we have with our world is like this, like the string that door. we hold. Yes, the door, it's just like that. It's our relationship with the world. And he said, it's my relationship with acting. You know, that is what acting is to me. If it's not a matter of life and death, it's not worth doing. Okay, sir, so, uh, the last question to you. You know, uh, Amitabh Bachchan also plays a very important part in this book. Please tell us yes. about it. How did you approach him? What was the conversations you both shared in memory of Irfan? Irfan oft, often spoke to me about how, how much he enjoyed doing Piku. All right. He enjoyed very much uh, working with uh, Deepika Padukone and of course very much working with uh, Bachchan Sir. Right. He said it was one of those few films where he just felt light and uh, almost floating. You know? He was very happy during uh, the making of that film. I remember that when Irfan passed away. However, I don't know Mr. Bachchan at all. Uh, you know? And uh, I didn't speak about it to Shutba either. I felt a little hesitant, you know. However, we were asking uh, some friends to read the book and uh, maybe say a few words about it. All right. And without telling me, Shutba spoke to Mr. Bachchan. And he asked her to send him the book and immediately said uh, he would be very, very happy to write the foreword. All right. And give, you know, he's the great professional, Mr. Butchin. So he asked, how many words do you want? When do you want it? You know, and exactly those many words and exactly when we asked for it, his foreword arrived, just in time, ready for the publishers. You know, and you will read the foreword. It is such a generous and such an insightful uh, celebration of uh, Irfan. Um, it gives you uh, the kind of insight that only one great actor can have of another, you know. I'm very, very grateful to Mr. Bachchan, of course, for the foreword, 
very grateful to Shutpa that she thought about, you know, approaching him and that he agreed to write it. Thank you yeah. so much, Anupsa, uh, for sharing these lovely memories with us. Thank you. Thank you, Abira. So for the moment, they're all here on the side. And uh, we'll do you want see. to do How? you want to do you want to share with us the name of the actors? It, it would be unfair, you know, to do that. Uh, really, yeah. I get it. Thank you yeah. so much, Anupsa, uh, for sharing these lovely memories with us. Uh, happy, sad, but it's all advance of memories. Thank you so much, and all the Abira, very best. Thank you very much. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abira. Thank you.